Welcome to the AI Blockchain Summit in Malta. I'm Jane King, and with me is David Orban, who is the founder of Network Society and also a managing partner of the Network Society Ventures. Thank you. So great to have you here. Um, I love talking to people a little bit before we get on camera, but what you have done, and, and you're your thought leader in the decentralization area, which is um, transformative potentially to how we live, which is amazing. So give me some background on what you've done, and then let's talk a little bit more about how you see the world in the future. I was part of the group that designed Singularity University at NASA Research Park in California with funding from Google 10 years ago, where we study and teach how accelerating exponential change is transforming our world. And it is based on that experience that I formulated my framework of how what is happening around us is going to play out. Okay. So I assume blockchain will play a central role in that. Blockchain is a mathematical invention that is leading to decentralization in the world of finance and funding and in other places. But actually, it is part of a broader context. Mm -hmm. If you think about solar energy, where every place in the world where there is the sun shining can become an energy source, that is going to bring geopolitical changes in the world that are unprecedented. Digital manufacturing, peer-to-peer uh, -peer learning, personalized health, these are all parts of the same socio-economic phase transformation that we are going to see happening in the next uh, years. Well, I know there's some in Brooklyn, you and I are both New Yorkers, so I know in Brooklyn there's a neighborhood kind of energy grid. And they're all getting energy off of one, I think it's you know a solar station, um, and they're off the main grid. So you see more of that kind of thing happening? Uh, what is important to understand, I believe, is that while everything happening together can appear confusing to people, the barriers to adoption of each of these uh, technologies and processes is practically zero. The only thing that needs to be done is for people to take the first step learn about Bitcoin, acquire a little bit of Bitcoin, learn about solar energy, understand that they can recharge their mobile phone. They don't need to start powering their skyscraper with solar right away, okay. but this powerful uh, uh, step that anybody can take is uh, really fueling uh, a better psychology towards the future rather than fear-driven driven by opportunity and acceleration of everything that we can do together. Yes, well, um, I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. And I do think you mentioned the first step is people just kind of learning about it. But I think that's a very big hurdle. I think people have become so accustomed to some kind of centralized entity, whether it's a government or a bank or a power utility, they become comfortable with that and they're not sure how to navigate this new world. What do you think of that? You go to YouTube, you just punch in a few words and you can learn about anything. Mm -hmm. And that is powerful towards whoever is in a position of authority because often they are as confused as the people they need to tell what to do. If you are a student, your teacher is not going to know more about Bitcoin than you. If you are a CEO, well, the uh, middle management or your employees maybe are going to be passionate about a subject and they will be your peers. So understanding that the position you are in is not a guarantee that you have all the answers and share this understanding with everybody so that not having all the answers is not your fault, is a natural situation we are in is fundamentally important. Yeah. Okay, final question. I could talk to you for hours, by the way. But you mentioned something about like a threat to power. And um, I think that's one of the things that could, governments don't want to see a non-fiat currency, right? I mean, doesn't that give them less power? And will they be the ones that try to slow this transformation down? Governments are dangerous because they have all the weapons and they can kill us or jail us yeah. or wage a war. And uh, uh, being excessively attached to a given model can be mortally dangerous. In the past, uh, we have had no problem killing millions or tens of millions of people in useless wars because we believe that a given model should be uh, what survived. What is 
exciting about the world of blockchain and decentralization is that thousands of experiments are happening at the same time in order to evolve sustainable solutions that can be adopted all over. And it is important for centralized powers, nation states, large corporations, regulators, to encourage this experiment because the answers don't reside in one or two places in the world. The answers are generated by 8 billion people believing in a future that is desirable and that we are building together. Okay, I love that quote, by the way. One last question. I know I said the last one was, but just kind of describe to me how you think the world will look in 50 years. Five zero? Yes. Um, Corporations are artificial intelligences, uh, industries are robots. We don't have to look at them as having humanoid form necessarily. We are imbuing the world with being smart, programmably, efficiently, and this smartness in the world will make it a companion for humanity to keep exploring the universe in the way that we have been doing humbly and aggressively at the same time. And curiosity, passion and talent will let us colonize the solar system and then look beyond together with our uh, co-explorers uh, that uh, we will emancipate naturally and necessarily to be as uh, a rightful occupant of, it, of this adventure as we are. And the world will look very, very different, yeah. almost unrecognizable, but you and I and our children uh, will uh, live an exhilarant yeah. path and adventure for what? It's already very exciting to watch some of the changes. So thank you so much, David, for coming. Very interesting. Thank yes. you. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be back with more interviews.